In his light Ukrainian accent, Eugene asked Jamie, If you were a caveman, forced to run from a tiger all the time, what would that do to you? I'm guessing nothing good, Jamie answered. If anyone was going to know about the consequences of large or long-term doses of stress, it was the premier pain physician and board-certified anesthesiologist across from him. That is true, Eugene said. 30,000 years ago, we were surrounded by constant threats and had to stay alert or die, which obviously is traumatic. That hyper-alert response to stress or danger is biological. It is a physical reaction built into the DNA that can make us miserable in the long run, but keeps us alive. The doctor talked about how the reality of a large, aggressive animal bursting into a caveman's shelter was a genuine, imminent, and persistent threat. That caveman had little to rely on to keep himself alive except his ability to respond quickly to remain in what is popularly referred to as fight or flight mode. Pausing briefly to order a bottle of wine, the doctor continued, If you didn't want to die, you'd need to have a hair-trigger response, be ready to fight at any moment. You wouldn't sleep because, you know, there's a tiger hanging around. Have to stay alert. Be at the ready. This is hypervigilance. You're going to have a hair-trigger response to any stimuli. You're going to have extreme paranoia and anxiety, knowing that a big cat is likely around the corner, licking his chops. And you'd be contemplating your death all the time.